What's up everybody? Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you my impressions on two lightweight sleeping pads for backpacking. I've used both these sleeping pads a couple times and I think I know them well enough to give somebody an idea whether or not this one of these might be the right pad for you. Uh, we have the Climate Inertia Ozone and the Climate Inertia X-Frame. I like both of these pads in different ways for different reasons and I'll explain that to you here in a second. The Inertia X-Frame, I like because it only weighs 8 ounces, and also I got a really good deal on this. I got it for like $35. Um, super, super lightweight, not the warmest sleeping pad. I think if I ever take this in the winter, I would probably bring another blue foam pad to go underneath it. One thing I don't like about this sleeping pad is it's geared towards taller people. I'm five foot seven, and my feet kind of don't fit where they should on the pad. It's really never been a problem, but you know. Also, something I've heard about this pad is that it's bad for side sleepers if you sleep on your side. Now, I found this to be not entirely accurate because I sleep on my sides or I'll wake up in my side. I've actually found that the gap in the middle of the pad kind of cradles your body in a way that it's not uncomfortable. It, you still feel the pad. It's not like you fall through it and you feel like you're on, on the the hard ground. Something I also really like about the Inertia X-Frame is it takes three breaths to blow up. Literally, no time at all, no energy at all. If you set up camp super late and you just want to get to sleep, this is the pad you want. The Inertia Ozone weighs in at 15.5 ounces, which is considerably heavier than the X-Frame if you're an ounce counter. Um, but it's well worth its weight in uh, value. The number one thing about the Inertia Ozone that you might notice and that I, and it's probably my favorite thing about it is obviously the pillow. It's got a built-in pillow that's just super comfortable. It's got an X where it keeps your head right in the middle of the pillow. Um, I know if you're like me, you've tried other, you, I use my down coat folded up as a pillow sometimes and I'll lose it and have to dig around in the middle of the night looking for it. Uh, the fact that the pillow is built onto the sleeping pad is just super convenient. It's awesome. Although the ozone isn't any thicker than the X-Frame, it's definitely warmer because it has more tubing underneath you. It keeps your body up higher up off the ground. In terms of value, the ozone is definitely going to appeal to more people. The built-in pillow and just the fact that you don't have those bars in your back, you feel like you're on more of a bed, more of a flat surface than where the X-Frame, sometimes you kind of... If you move left or right, you can feel where you are on the pad and you can tell whether I need to scoot a little bit more to the right or something like that. Definitely going to appeal to more people, I'm not going to lie. If you can get the Ozone uh, for about the same price as the, the X-Frame and you're not worried about carrying an extra 6 or 7 ounces or 7 or 8 or whatever it would be, um, definitely go with the Ozone. The pillow is the added benefit that makes it just well worth your while. I personally find myself using the X-Frame more. Um, I like to bring other tools, other things that uh, weigh more when I go on backpacking trips. So I like to count pretty much every ounce. And a sleeping pad that weighs half as much as the other one, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, the X-Frame I actually find to be comfortable. I am primarily a back sleeper. So the Ozone or the X-Frame really just doesn't bother me at all. Um, never had a bad night's sleep on it really, but uh, the fact that it packs down the size of a pop can and it's super lightweight. I also don't mind sleeping on harder surfaces, so where some people can only deal, can only sleep on a Thermarest Neo Air, I can sleep on something a little bit harder. So overall, I gotta say that if you get the X-Frame for anywhere under $50, I think it's worth it. Um, I do think that if you pay 60 to 80, to $100 for that pad, you might be slightly disappointed. And same thing pretty much goes for the Inertia Ozone. They're both they're both very minimalist sleeping pads with the loft pockets. I would say the Ozone is worth a little bit more than what you get, but um, I still think you could probably find better pads out there with more insulation, such as the Climate Static V. Um, I've seen one of those in person, and I know it's about twice the thickness of both of these pads. So if you're going to, if you're in like the $60, $70 market, I might try to find one of those instead of one of these. If you like the video, comment and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out a ton. Uh, go to my channel, check out some of my adventure videos. We got a bunch more coming up soon. So see you on the trail.